YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are so glad you have joined us today. It's going to be a good day. It's been a mild winter, but of course, here we are getting closer to spring and the snow is showing back up, but I can't complain. It's been pretty nice. Anyways, we're going to have a great time, so come along. heading towards spring it is not going to be long and we are going to be able to get out into the cemeteries and get stones set again which is fantastic uh, dad is back to the shop and uh, he ran out or I'd have him say hi here but he'll be around on this video you'll see him and uh, he has been working over here I'll come kind of take a little look here's one of the stones that I had gotten worked on and prepared last week this one as well and he moved that one off the rollers and these ones he's gotten protected that one's gonna be that one's gonna be a little dizzy being upside down anyways he's got him on here about ready to head into the blast booth so it is nice to have another hand in the shop. It definitely helps get things done. I had customers this morning and sold a stone uh, family was in and their sister had passed away. And so um, brother and sister and uh, the husband came in to, uh, to take care of a headstone for her. And it's always sad when you're working on a stone for somebody uh, that died younger than, than you would hope. Death is uh, never pleasant, never easy, um, but it's different when it's uh, somebody in their in their 60s or their late 50s. It's it's tough, and uh, but I had a good time working with them, and uh, we created something that I think is going to be unique and special, and uh, so it's it's always rewarding to have that part turn out well. Anyways, we're going to get these stones blasted so that we can get them peeled and you can see the finished result on some of these last few weeks worth of work I've been doing. Uh, this little bit of prep work here and there feels like I don't get enough time to get out to the shop. That one got blasted. Don't think that one got filmed, but some of the others that we're working on here got filmed. You can see the base, which actually goes along with that Millard one sitting over there. And that will be getting etched soon. That'll be the next part of that one, it's got etching going right above where their wedding date is there. So this one's just about ready. Holy cow, he's back. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't been abandoned forever. Who knew? So this one is ready to go on. Out of my tan right there. <laughs> That's all I got. I stayed well covered and protected. <laughs> Beautiful tan. So we just got done checking this and I just wanted to mention this was not peeled out. Now, we had different people mention which one was it in imagination. That eye didn't get peeled out and uh, had people comment on that, but don't worry, we got it. And we always check before we blast to make sure that everything on here is the same as on the paper. So that we had already gotten and I already knew about that one actually, but this I did not know about and we caught when we did the final check, saw that it wasn't there. So always, be checking your stuff before you blast. Do it multiple times. It is the best. Make sure that it's in good shape. So dad's got some video of getting these done and he'll get a little more of this so you can see the, the time lapse of it and then getting it peeled off. He's got another part to a stone over here that he's got done. So that's ready to be peeled. So things are getting done. And it continues to be wintry here. The, uh, the winter doesn't want to leave. It's been mild all year here. But now, she's snowing pretty good out there today again. So we've had a few days of, of snowing like this. It's not that big a deal. We're still only in March, so. <clears throat> Being the brilliant YouTuber that uh, I am, I just filmed a segment and uh, had my had my uh, 
microphone all plugged in, everything all set up. And if you don't turn on your receiver and your sender for your microphone, don't work. So anyway, <laughs> now that I'm done doing what I'm doing, was doing, I'm going to show you what I did. So I took this rendering that we had and this part up here, which is on this stone, I read it from bottom right to top left, and I read it every letter, every space, every comma, all backwards, so that to make sure that they're all good. And then I proceeded to check it okay, and um, what I wrote it with was the back end of the X-Acto knife that will write the aluminum, will write on rubber just well if you don't have a pen close by. And I always have one of these close by, so anyway. <laughs> you know, if you have a little comedy, probably sells better, I don't know. Anyway, we're good at the comedy part. Dad has been working in here in the blast booth, putting in a new light. We already had a light up there, but we did not have anything down here. And because of that, he, uh, he, he did some time lapse on some blasting that we just had done that I was gonna use, and you just couldn't really see what was going on at all. So I decided we should add a new light. But the light that he put down there is one that we actually had out here. And you could see this one here automatically just popped on as I walked out because this one has, I don't know if you can see it, probably it's bright, but it's got a little sensor there that is motion. So when he brought this one back with the motion sensor, it's like, well, why don't you take the light that's out here that doesn't have a motion sensor, put that one in the blast booth. And so he put that one in the blast booth and then put this one out here. That way, as we come through there, it will trigger and pop on for us, which is kind of nice because we, uh, we don't stay out here working terribly long a lot of times, but we run out here to grab something quick and it's nice, the light now will just pop on. And I wanna come around here and take a look and see what does it look like through the screen now. Part of the problem is we're recording the GoPro, you can see hanging up here and it's recording through this screen. And I think what happens is sometimes light gets caught on the screen and makes it hard, but oh man, that's so much brighter now. I think that's gonna work a whole lot better. So we'll see. We're gonna put pins in here for legs, but first thing is to just take a good close inspection of uh, letters and designs to make sure everything is blasted correctly. A little hack, if you get skin frost off and you've got tiny areas that, that for whatever reason didn't get blasted, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a diamond hand etcher, you can, you can, you know, you can't do a lot of it, but you can hit a few spots and that will take care of that. Otherwise, you're going to go back and do one letter at a time, getting it covered and redone. All right. So I've got two sides. I've got this, which is the back side, I believe. And then I got to set it up and the top that had all the lettering on it, the verse. I'm inspecting letters. I haven't inspected these. Mm. Cedric, can you tell me what Grandpa's doing here? Uh, yeah. What is he doing? Getting stuff. Yeah. Do you know what he's getting stuff for? Uh-huh. Oh, tell me. Because... 
She's making something. He's making a monument? Uh -huh. Yeah. He's putting in some studs so that the legs will hold on to that really well, huh? Do you think it'll work good? Mm-hmm. Yep. I bet he's using rockite. Do you think he used rockite for it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Ooh, what's he doing now? Taking off the paper. The paper? You mean uh -huh. the stencil? Yeah. Yeah. Why is he taking off the stencil? I don't know. Do you think it looks better with the stencil or without? Uh, out. Yeah. I think it looks better with the stencil off. It's nice and clean that way. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was entertaining and educational. That is always our goal. Hope you like, subscribe, come see us again soon. We'll see you.